My name is Wyatt Eaton. I'm a project manager for the Underwater Services Group. We're working here at the Lock and Dam 19 facility in Keokuk, Iowa. USGS got permission to put this underwater acoustic deterrent system. It's part of a three-year study. This is the only project on the Mississippi River evaluating a deterrent for invasive carp. We want to prevent or reduce the number of invasive carp moving towards the Great Lakes, as well as any habitat that is not currently infested with Asian carp. Underwater acoustics is kind of unique because of the hearing range of invasive carp. Sound is a selective deterrent, and so if we can focus in on just the sounds that that carp can hear and react to, and hopefully we'll have um, less effect on native species. What we're doing in particular is putting a sound bar in and out of Lock 19. It's a 105 foot steel bar that goes all the way across the chamber and it weighs 18,000 pounds. What's unique about the placement and how the construction design as well as having the contractors do the work with us is the fact that we're able to put it in a manner that is below navigation, so there's no impact to navigation. Brennan's role is to remove the underwater fish barrier system. It's a pretty complicated underwater critical pick. Brennan's dive team is going to go down, inspect the barrier, and make sure there's no large dents or damage to it. They'll be removing a series of bolts that hold the fish barrier system down to the baffle block. After they remove those bolts, they'll take those covers off and then we'll pull all the wires from land, ratchet strap down, and we'll be able to pick the weldment and set it up on land. We're replacing the speakers with ones that have connections that can be uh, plugged in or unplugged underwater so we don't have to remove the entire system after this year. Capabilities of the soundbar are something that we can remotely access. We have cameras that are set up so we're actually capturing all of the video information related to what we're doing as barges move in and out so that we can create a really nice data set of what's going on with the sound bar. It's also kind of cool that even when the divers are down there, we can see the divers, not from cameras, but acoustically. We can tell they're there and what they're doing with the sound bar at the same time. So it's a really unique project on many aspects because it pulls in just about all of the stakeholders, contractors, as well as the government agencies to come together to make a unique design and examine how effective it really is. We've been able to do things in a very short period of time. A large part of that is because we've been able to work with Brennan over the last few years now and have people that really know what's going on. It's a unique system, both in the design and the repair aspects of it. And so familiarity with it has been really important. We're here in the part of the season where the lock is open to industry of tow traffic and we do have a few short closures that we are given to do the work. Being able to execute that work in the time frames that we are given is crucial. Not only is Brennan very knowledgeable about Army Corps operations, they're knowledgeable about locks as well as dams. So working with them, they have solutions. They're looking at things that as scientists we can't always see. We're busy trying to get the science and the technology done and Brendan can take control of the construction and make really good recommendations as to what we should do and we shouldn't do and lay out a logical plan and sequence of activities. And that's just perfect.